In this video, I'll be replacing this outdoor spigot. You can see it leaking there. And this one really doesn't have an O-ring or a gasket that you can tighten or replace. Oh, get over there. And it is a quarter turn, one half inch, non-solder. So it's pretty easy to install. Just unscrew it, put some Teflon tape, some pipe sealant. What I found out here is that the uh, knobs are a little bit loose. I try to tighten it. And for a few days I let it ride like that. But you have to really keep it tight. If you did it too quickly and it stayed a little open, it would leak through the night. But I did leave it like that for a few days. So this initial video that I have here was done actually weeks ago. And again, this is a non-solder spigot. If you have a one that you have to solder, then you need some experience. This is the one I'm going to replace it with here. Same thing, half inch, quarter turn. So I turned off the water to the uh, main house here. So I'm just letting the uh, water drain here. And you want to anchor the wrench on the wall and then one in the spigot so you don't break the pipe because then you'll really be in trouble. And this one on average I replace it about every seven years. It's one that we use quite a bit to get water for the uh, our dogs, wash their uh, food bowls and so forth. So it's used quite a bit. Here I put on the Teflon tape. I'm also going to put some pipe sealant. I did wrap it at least five times around. It's the, the uh, Teflon tape is really really thin. And then I applied a, a little bit of the uh, pipe sealant. I used to use both. I found that it just works better than just the Teflon tape alone. Then you screw it on. And of course the main thing here is you don't, when you do the revolutions here, just do enough so it stays a little, a little firm. You don't want to overdo it because if you break the pipe, then it's going to be an expensive fix. I think I did maybe about three, three revolutions. And again, how many you do is going to depend on how much Teflon tape you put on there. I like to put at least five uh, revolutions of Teflon tape. It's better to put more than two less and then a little bit of the uh, pipe sealant. And I found out that that just keeps the seal better. I did have some issues when I would use just Teflon tape and of course sometimes I didn't use enough. So that's the key. You want to shoot and make sure that you use enough. Now this one's a little bit straighter than the other one that I had. And then I turned the water back onto the house. And then I tested it out here. Again, this is just one one quarter turn. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.